Before we start today's video, I want to remind you guys that October 26th, that's this weekend, we are going to be in Charlotte, North Carolina for our last tour stop of the year. So if you are in the area, please come through. We've never been to this area before, so I'm expecting a big turnout. So I'm looking forward to all the information. Tickets will be linked down below. And also, I look really sad and stressed in the beginning of this video. I don't know why, but I guess I was really stressed as i was filming this but nonetheless enjoy today's video it's going to be left a little bit raw uh to kind of really get the vibe of the stress crunch that we're in for sema that being said i'm gonna stop talking and enjoy today's video we are coming to you live from the garage putting back the 458 right now there is so much to do remember that huge list that i was showing you guys well we still have to do that whole entire list but we've been kind of working on the car for the past three four hours haven't picked up the camera yet because i was putting my head down and i've been kind of stressed out so i'm just trying to like hammer through all this stuff but at the moment i'm putting back the last couple pieces for the interior of the whole entire car so this is the first time you guys have seen this in quite a bit we have the door panels in which took a really long time and right now i'm putting back this top trim piece so i can go ahead and put back all the molding in in the car i already put back the moldings on the driver's side and everything went back flawlessly it's really good seeing this car in one whole piece again the main purpose of today is to kind of keep the wheels turning in all areas we and calvin are doing our best to not have both of us doing the same thing if i'm doing one thing calvin's doing something completely different on our list so at the moment as i'm finishing up this interior calvin is actually making our front guard for our front bumper so that when the front bumper is on the car you don't see this wash bucket now if you guys don't remember we are actually opting out of using this wash bucket we're gonna retain it in the car because there are a bunch of sensors and stuff that go in it and if we were to and if we were to completely remove it we would have plugs that aren't plugged in and we'd be throwing a bunch of codes and it would be a whole bunch of nonsense so although we're not going to be using it we're going to be retaining it and keeping it in there and it's not like we're completely trashing it we still could use it we just have to get new hose and run this all the way up to the windshield wipers which i don't think we're going to have enough time for sema to finish that but long story short when we have the hole in the front bumper you're going to see that plastic clear tub so we actually started making a template here and pretty much are making a aluminum sheet and we're going to cover it in black paint so when you put it behind it it just looks all black and you don't see anything i didn't film it because i'm a terrible filmer but this interior piece is 100 in all of that is done we still need to put in our carbon fiber door cells, but I'm gonna do that when we know we're 100% done with the side skirts. While I've been doing that, Calvin over here is mocking up this template that he's gonna be putting on the back. How does it look on the other side? Looks good, it looks super flush. Looks great. It looks, yeah, it looks real good. Well, I need to go cut it again. So what's gonna be nice is that when you shoot that black and we like paint that, because this is such a high gloss and there's gonna be a shadow here, I don't think you'll notice it too much, but uh, if you do end up noticing it too much, we can like recreate it in like carbon or something. Don't we're, close yourself out on me. We're closed, sorry. No, sir, please, okay, can no, I just... We're, we're closed. Me, 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 me. The last bit of this is I have to take off a bit of half an inch and then drill the hole so that it's perfectly secure. And then the idea is we take the bit off the Ferrari stock bumper, kind of shim it so that it angles the, the Italian stallion so it looks great in the front. Can you, can you just go check on the other side to see if it looks good, Teach? Go follow me on Twitch. Wow. <laughs> Yo, I got got. <laughs> got him. <laughs> one little air time, baby. Baby, one little air time. So this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna drill some holes into our fresh paint, some fresh paint, and a drill bit, and put some rib nuts in there so we can get these fenders on. Because word on the street is the wheels are coming today. Which I don't know if we can show because Toyo wants to keep this completely secret until SEMA. We'll put my face on the side of the car, but you'll see the fitment. Q T J not really doing that. Every time you tell me to do something, I'm in edit. I'm like, okay, ah, too lazy. You ain't gonna do it. <laughs> and then all the comments are like, because I leave in your voice or you say T J. I put in bra and I never yeah anyways it doesn't we're gonna start drilling normally you'd be like why would you be doing this after paint because we were supposed to do this before paint but we didn't but we didn't Ooh, take me to the fresh mirror paint <laughs> you want to see how big the hole would have been no it would have been really big if we used uh well nuts, well -nuts. Ooh. Ooh, it looks pretty <laughs> wow Cal where did you get that Amazon. Normally we would be using Downstar for this, but one, we don't have Downstar 
size is small enough. And two, I don't have enough time to get some sent out. Frank, I love you, but Downstar ain't happening on this build, sadly. We have Downstar hardware everywhere else on the car. Yeah, we have Downstar. Like, literally everywhere else, yeah. but for Rover Fender, we're not using dress up. We're gonna do like simple, simple, very, very small rivets on this. But that was our test. That worked. I'm gonna go ahead and do that six more times on this side, and then we'll pick up with you when we do our Fender test. We're already way ahead of you guys, but we just slipped this in and Calvin is threading in these bolts nice and loose. This paint is still a little bit soft, so Calvin just reminded me, he's like, let's not crank these down. We could, we could put them all the way down, but he's like, let's not crank it because we don't want to scratch any paint or do any damage here. With this hardware, we're able to do a little bit uh, a little bit less noticeable, a little bit smaller stuff. And I think for SEMA, we'll probably end up painting all this stuff so it's black and it hides a little bit more. The silver's kind of cool. It will match the wheels a little bit. That's a little hint of what the color will be. But, uh, oh man, that looks that looks killer, dude. That looks really, really good. Our bumper isn't all the way bolted down, but our fitment is 100% perfect on that rear end of the car. Right side of the fender is on, looking really good. So that means that our rear hardware is now complete. Which means, boys, what the fuck, Calvin? We got a third to join our party right now. Calvin it just stole some of these vents from the stock front bumper. And he's actually gonna try to retrofit them to fit on the back. They're actually a close fit as the shape wise, but if you look on the back side of the bumper, there actually isn't anything for Calvin to attach them to because the attachment holes are different on the GT3 bumper than on the stock bumper. While Calvin's doing that, Kevin and I are doing the front grill face, or at the moment, Kevin is doing it. I just finished up removing all the Italian stallion pieces that we're gonna be uh, transferring everything over. So what we've ended up doing is I disassembled the bracket that holds the hood ornament, or I guess you would call this the front bumper ornament. We're gonna use the same method in which Ferrari did. So we're gonna find the center of our plate. And then once we find the center of our plate, we're gonna go ahead, drill a hole through so we can stick that into our plate. And then we're gonna spray paint everything. And then when we go back to assemble all of it, it's gonna look OEM. This is gonna be sitting nice and pretty. And rather than it being like off to an angle, because it's gonna be the same angle as the Stockholm bumper, this is gonna be sitting nice and proud. Doing a little Jumba mod right now, baby. Hit them with, with the Jumbi engineer. You know, yeah, we, we, we you know, we brush polish this real quick. I'm just kidding, we're gonna paint it later. But don't look at the backside, pretty ugly, but it works, okay, so. It doesn't say to follow me on Twitch, but if you didn't see that earlier, make sure you follow me on Twitch. Follow Kevin on Twitch. He does photo editing and stuff. I do things. He does things. Hey, is that center? I hope it's center, because I balled it. Uh, it's a little left, it's a little left. All right, what? It's chill. All right, we'll go like this. No, 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 put it, put it, put the bolts, oh. put, put the bolts in. You can't say it's a little left. It looks a little left. I think you need to get your eyes checked. It look, I need to get my, my ass checked? Your eyes checked. Oh, my eyes, my eyes, yeah, my eyes. But I think it's oblong. The shape is a- Well, the horse? No. It, it's a horse. I don't know, dude. It's a horse, so you kind of have to see the horse. I see it. What do you think, Teej? Look, look, look at it. What's it? That looks pretty good, man. Calvin says it's a little left. What do you think? You're just gonna straddle jumpy like that? Um, I don't think it's your measurement. It's the horse. It's the horse. Yeah, the horse is a bit, um, as Calvin likes to say. Yeah, you fit it in his mouth. Yeah, you did do that. That was, that was actually the other horse. <laughs> that was a different, but no, it, I think it's good. I think it's solid. It's a bit, what, what do I say though? Well, I'm gonna have to bleep it in post, so I don't know if I want to say it. Oh, Fine, yeah. I'll say it. It's a bit f***ed off. <laughs> So I, that just, wow. that, that took me an extra wow. 10 seconds to edit that. Wow. So thank you, Cal. You, you said it. Cause you, you asked. Said, I say frick now. Cause I'm a. I say frick. Yeah. Cause he's, a, he's a second grade. Yeah. He's a swashing channel. I'm right. a swashing channel now. Anyways. What the frick, Kev? You know, channel? we're just kids out here working on a Ferrari. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. Whoa. That sounds, I'm just up. kidding. Whoa. Yeah, it does have to oh. be perfect. Oh, it's, it's perfect. Yeah, it's Don't worry about it. Oh, we got a special delivery. I didn't know you had a hot boy van. We got hot boy. I didn't know there was a hot boy van. Ow! Ah! Bro. Be ready. Dude. Dude. You can't show those. Oh my God. You can't show those. God. Oh my God, this f***ing place Bro. Ow! Oh! Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Don't lick them. Don't no, not see, for you. I want to see how saucy they taste. Yeah. Oh, I want to get a little taste. No, hey, hey, hey! Everybody, oh, it tastes good. <laughs> it tastes good. <laughs> oh my! You can't really see them, but God. you're getting a little. You're getting a little taste for brush life, aren't you? Dang. Tastes good. Giving her another coat. We had a bug. Yeah, we're gonna land on it. 
It's all right. You're supposed to be on that, Kev. What do you, do you, what? Do You're you have, supposed to be on that, You Kev. don't have a paint booth, bro. This is our paint booth. Bro, this is an atmos, ap, atmospheric, ap, find your words. Ap, hey, I don't ap, even know what you're trying to say. What, <laughs> what do you, what do you call a blow off valve that disvents the atmosphere? It's, I don't know. What? It's what? I don't know. Ap, atmospheric. I think you're just making up words. I I was gonna say that our booth it's is natural. It's a natural atmospheric. Booth. It that why does that not make sense? I don't know. It's natural, I, baby. This is our booth. It's, why it is it, what it is. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm sorry. I butchered it. Let's go over our list. This is about to get finished. Make mesh girls. We finish our front bumper. Looking saucy. Calvin's gonna finish yeah, his yeah. rear bumpers up on Saturday when we and Kev are at FD. Super yeah, hype we took Calvin. these from the stock one. Yeah, I think I, mean, I explained it. Did I just you? don't remember. I did. You so retrofitted those. Um, make a wing, make wing brackets. I didn't film this, but our friends Boosted Shades are actually across the, the way of our complex, and uh, they're actually gonna be helping us make this. I'll film that next week when we get to it, but they took measurements today, so that has been started. Mount tri chip exhaust. I'm actually in the middle of doing that. I'm just making some holes right here for that. Wheel clearance. I'm gonna decide not to show wheels right now. So I'll I'll give you guys wheel clearance later. Um, working on that. Wheel and shield wipers, I haven't gotten there yet. Attached front splitter. We may or may not have that for SEMA. I don't know yet. It may be too low, but that sounds like a maybe. Drill holes for license plate. I'm gonna do that tonight still. Fender liners and diffuser are something that we'll probably do down the line, but mm -hmm. we're moving. We got a lot done today. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Yeah. We still got more. Kevin and I have a date. We have some pizza on the way. Yeah. So. We have a third date over here. She's coming along. She needs some. She needs a bit of work, but she's coming along. Calvin left, by the way. We didn't tell him that. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why he left, but he left. He did good work today, though. He did. He, he did put in some hours. <laughs> Just, just smoking some hole and some good paint. I know. That's took like a, all that bondo that, that they had while. to do. Why? Well, if you don't remember, they had we had two huge holes here, so they had to like bondo all this. Oh, yeah. Just like OEM. Yeah, that holds. I wasn't gonna use rivets, but then I decided to use rivets. OEM, it came with rivets. Um, so we decided just to do rivets. Cause we OEM out here, dude. Oh yeah, dude, so OEM. <laughs> nice and clean, ready for a license plate. That's good, the only thing left on this bumper is to put this mesh grills in and to put these tri-tips in. All of the drill bits that we have are so just like smoked and brutal that I've already spent like 10 minutes trying to drill through this and I'm literally getting nowhere. So we'll probably have to get new drill bits, the appropriate drill bits and try this over again. But we're gonna go ahead and, uh, and finish our wash tub cover and probably call it a day. Um, oh, that looks good, man. Where's the other one? That looks really good, dude. You know what? That looks really good. What, what would you call this? The Italian Stallion stand? I don't know. This was cool. I didn't think we were going to retrofit this onto the aftermarket bumper. I'm glad we did. And the fact that we did, I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty hyped on it. This, this is a straight up Jumba mod. Like, everything worked out really, really well. Like, because we took the stand off of from the, we took the stand from, like, the stock bumper and it had a slant on it and it, perfectly matched the GT3 slant. Not that that's like shocking or anything, but I don't know. It just worked out really easy and I'm pretty hyped on that. And yeah. without the help of Kevin and Calvin and so many people that are helping, like I'd be so screwed. I'd be so <laughs> screwed. So I'm super, super thankful that everyone's been helping out because this would be impossible without everyone's help. I'm really struggling over here. It seems like you're struggling. Dude, it's like playing you, with- Let me put this down. I don't think you. I, I, I just got her. Now, did I keep that wrench out? I don't, I don't think he's got it. It's gonna take him a while. All right, hit me with the last piece. Hit me with the last piece. You ready? You got the hardware back there? Uh, yeah. She's going in, brother. Oh yeah. That looks good. Yeah, dude, it pops a lot. That's it. Yeah, it, I I really like the fact that like it looks like you have a piece of metal back. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks it looks good. She's coming together. Coming together. Dude, it is it's looking super good. All right, with the progress that we've made, we can go ahead and cross off 
One of the last pieces we were trying to accomplish for tonight. Cover the wash tub. It's officially complete. Didn't get to the exhaust. We're doing that, we're doing that, and these two should be super easy. So we are killing it, really liking that. With this point in time, we still have over two weeks, so we're sitting super pretty with the 458, but that's good. We're trying to get a lot of this stuff done now, so we don't have to deal with it when the Supra is in our hands. Now, because this car is gonna be debuting at Toyota Tread Pass, they kind of have a rule that you cannot show your car um, in its complete form or show too much of it for the day of SEMA. Now, trust me, uh, I know it's not ideal, and my whole thing has been showing you guys the progress with this so um, I'm really like pushing the boundaries with Toyo of how much I am already showing and I'm already getting pushback for it which is fine I, I get it I understand it and I'm respecting what they want for their booth and for that uh, I need to be a little bit careful of what I can and can't show so all those wheel sections I'm sorry I'm probably just gonna block out the screen because I didn't want to I didn't want to blur it and then have someone see something of it and I don't want to deal with any repercussions but I am gonna be filming the process of this car trust me uh, they'll just come out after SEMA and I'll have a big reveal video the day of SEMA I'm allowed to post complete pictures and stuff on Tuesday morning the day of SEMA but I will say this this is the best looking car in the whole entire world. This is my favorite car I have ever built. This is the best looking car that we have ever built. I never in my lifetime should have owned this car, but somehow I do, and it's insane. I literally, you guys don't know how, you don't know how much it's killing me not to show you looking at this. This is a car that when you see, you just, you never ever think you can own it. Like you never think it's gonna happen to you. The fact that I actually have this car, it's such a surreal, sur surreal feeling. It feels like a neat, it feels like I built it in Forza. Like it's not, it's not even real. Like it's just too perfect. I can't wait to show you guys the rest of this build, and I will show you more videos before SEMA probably just like of making the wing and stuff but I can't show you the car with it complete and all the pieces on so I'll figure out the best way I can um, to reveal stuff to you without giving away too much but I hope you guys can understand that thank you guys so much for watching today's video uh, the wheel fitment is so spicy and I can't even show it I'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching peace out and keep moving forward